everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on this Friday about crystals for meditation or spiritual development. So, um, there are a lot of people that, that have asked me recently about different crystals for um, developing their awareness, whether they're doing psychic development as part of a circle or enhancing their meditation practices. And there are lots of crystals that are really useful for these. Um, uh, there is a labradorite or labradorite, depending on how you pronounce the word. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful crystal, especially if you're doing um, spiritual development. It deepens meditations, really good for um, vision questing, shamanic traveling, um, journeying, um, very good for developing your, your intuition as well. So it's a lovely, lovely crystal to work with, which is very expansive. Um, and then you've got something like Farden Quartz, which is a super grounder. Um, beautiful quartz um, formation. They're normally quite sort of, they're like tabby shaped with sort of like, a, almost like pan pipes with a, a a silver cord running across the middle of it so it keeps you anchored and centered into the center of of the earth whilst allowing you to open and expand to higher consciousness so it's really lovely crystal to work with um we've got some third eye crystals like lapidolite or um lapis lazuli and um, those lovely crystals for meditating also really good if you're doing psychic development work or if you're wanting to work on mediumship um or you know trance mediumship as well so those are lovely crystals um if you're using a lot of third eye crystals and expansive crystals i would also add into the mix some really nice grounding crystals so again like farden quartz or black obsidian black tourmaline um, red jasper anything to keep you nice and grounded because obviously if you're doing a lot of opening and expanding you want to keep yourself grounded as well otherwise you can feel a bit heady or uh, a bit away with the fairies you don't necessarily feel here you can almost feel like you're sort of floating around and feel a bit disconnected from life um, and if you're feeling any of that then you know definitely do some extra grounding you know do a really nice rooting visualization where you'll feel like you're feeling that you're setting roots into the grounds of your feet and you can hold grounding crystals for that as well so those are uh, lovely examples and if you're using if you're doing meditation in your um, holding a crystal you can use them to place them in your space to raise the vibration in your space you can hold on to them whilst you're meditating or you can um, for example get a point or a crystal ball or a large piece of crystal um, and you can just sit and hold it in front of you and just gaze into the crystal and just allow your you're almost like you're looking at a 4D picture, so you're looking through and into the crystal and just allow yourself to drift into the crystal and have a lovely meditation inside the crystal or just, you know, following, um, looking at pictures or seeing what, what appears to you. Because some people really like to to look into a crystal and see all the, the animals or the faces that appear in the crystals and they get messages that way. So... You know, have a play around with different techniques and have a play around with different crystals because you'll find that different crystals work slightly differently for different types of meditation or different types of spiritual development. But I thought it would be a really nice um, thing to try maybe this weekend. Um, and if you're in the Suffolk area, then, you know, pop along to Woodbridge because uh, my dog designed will be there over the weekend. So take care, everyone. I'll speak soon. Bye.